what I'm doing today is preparing my new crucible um, a little ceramic dish here um, I'm going to be melting uh, gold for the first time um, now I have got an old crucible here that I use for my silver um, but it's always best to keep um, different metals uh, have a separate crucible for different metals uh, now this one as you can see um, this comes on a long handle and it's a little square crucible as you can see it's absolutely um, covered in borax it, it actually looked it was rough like that when it started um, and it's completely covered in borax um, you season it to start to give it sort of a really oh and like a non-stick surface really like like your pans i suppose um and i i i seasoned it for for the first time eight years ago um and i've never done it since because it seems like you you add borax most times that you melt your silver uh and it just keeps building up and building up so um it's been absolutely perfect and it also is in the pouring hole which is uh, important because you, the last thing you want is um your silver to get get stuck there where you're pouring so that's my original one um it screws on here it's got this safety thing here but to be honest i wouldn't think that i could actually get this apart anymore it would appear to me that it's completely um stuck on there but i don't i don't mind it's fine it's safe um uh, i i want to make sure that that doesn't fall off and um it's fine by me and I feel very safe and very confident using it. So this one is an entirely different thing altogether. This one is um, a round one. Uh, that's the natural ceramic, how it comes. Uh, and the handle, um, I think they call it a whip. Uh, and if you squeeze it, you'll see that those have these that, that comes out. Uh, and you you put it in there uh, to hold it so of, clearly <laughs> the last thing you want to do is when you're pouring is to squeeze that uh, let me turn that round so it's uh, in the right position for pouring um, you can have I'm right-handed so I've got my pouring hole there so that I can just dump it in uh, when I'm ready be it a an ing be it one of these, an ingot mould or cuttlefish or delf clay, which is one of my very favourite things at the moment. Um, so uh, that goes in there uh, nice and light. But what I need to do is to cover it in borax so that it's nice and shiny like that. Um, now, borax, let me go on to there. What I used to do before I now i've got one of these i've got a great big pot of borax powder which as you can see came from cooks and gold uh, what i do is i keep it actually this this also is a crucible um it's got a pouring hole here um but it's it's miles too big for me i ordered it in error i will never um warrant one that big because i'll never melt that much silver or that much gold or anything else so basically i just use it for keeping my borax in now this is the borax powder that came out of that tub uh, that came from cooks and gold but what i used to do before oh, i'm spilling it everywhere what i used to do before i got my tub of powder um, was, this is a little bit off a borax cone it's a bit that broke off the end and this is uh, a nutmeg a little tiny it's ever so tiny uh, let me show you against my hand it's a little tiny nutmeg grater uh, and what I used to do was just let me go this way so you can see what I'm doing can you see that that way uh, was just basically great great my borax into there i don't need to do that anymore because i now buy the powder um i did buy the powder for a specific reason for it was for a job i needed to do I can't for the life of me remember what it was now um but as i've got the powder that's what i now use so let's get rid of that 
what I'd like to do today is get this heated up, get it covered in borax, uh, and I'd like to try and do it with this um, reasonably new Durston torch that I bought. Um, I have got the sievert, as you know, um, but it's very noisy, it's very fetus, uh, so I thought we'd give it a go. Uh, it's only a tiny, tiny little little crucible. In fact, let me get my... Let me get my ruler and I'll tell you how far across it is. Um, it is five, between five and six centimetres across and in inches it's about two, two and a, two and a quarter. If you take the pouring spout into account it's two and a half inches um so you can tell how tiny that is and it's very light very easy to handle um so i'll put that, that away uh so what i'm going to do first of all is heat up this with this durston torch so let's see how we get on and then i will keep adding this borax powder which i've got down here so let's give it a go and see how we get on I'm going to heat it up first. We don't want to put the powder in first uh, because I've seen someone do it once where they put the powder in first and it, it actually just blew everywhere because it had got nothing to stick to. So, um, see how we get on with this. I put this some in now. Uh, we need to cover it all and we need to cover. The, the pouring spout as you saw on the other one so we'll make sure even this top rim i'd like actually to be covered in borax so let's try putting some in and see what happens there i'm not sure if you can see but it's bubbling away there uh, and it will it will go liquid you probably can't see because the flames probably flaring back on the camera um, but it, it is melting away there obviously the more we do it the hotter this is going to get and the easier it's going to be Actually become well it does it becomes liquid and you can move it around and coat the inside it goes that nice shiny browny colour if you can see that actually see from that brown nice browny colour we just keep putting more and more in and keep adding to it like it might do it with this dust and torch rather than getting the other one out. <laughs> the funny thing is take more um, more interest in seasoning my crucible than I do ever seasoning any pans in the kitchen or anything like that. This is far more important. This is a good job for today because it's really, really cold outside. It's something like the 6th of January, so the weather's not brilliant outside. So it's a nice, nice warm job to do. I prop that up and see if we can get it to run down near to the spout. There we go. You take that away so you can see it. bubbling up like a little cauldron there. You can see how it gets the build up when you're using it on just on a basically everyday 
um, just for your everyday use. Um, you automatically throw in a bit of borax and uh, it goes all over the place so it ends up covering all these edges and everything um, without without you even trying really my old one there is completely covered uh, but I do have to say it does look absolutely lovely it looks exactly fit for purpose I'll probably fast forward this uh, a bit for you uh, clearly it would have been a lot quicker with a bigger torch but not everybody has a big torch um, so you you make do with, with what you've got and as long as it does the job um, we have time even if we don't have extra equipment so um, it is what it is really different people have different studios I'm finding this actually quite therapeutic, I do have to say. If you do use your bigger torch, um, you'd probably be better off making sure you wear sunglasses or some protective eye protection. This actually on this little torch isn't too bad, I do have to say. let's have a look at this now um, I think that's done the job as you can see it's all shiny um, some of the edges are shiny which is what I wanted um, but to be honest that will um, that, that will end it will it will all end up like this eventually um, there's probably a bit of excess um, borax in there but um, that that's fine next time I put my gold in I'd need borax in it anyway so I'm happy with that uh, nice shiny um, new crucible ready for the gold um, I'm very nervous about melting this gold it'll be my first time um, but you've got to do it for the first time eventually um, so uh, I'm going to go and heat this up actually and pour some of that excess borax out of there uh, and I'll come back and show you a picture of it when I've done that there we go I'm more than happy with that um, there was too much borax in um, so basically what I've done is heated it up and dri dripped it into my other crucible um, so I can get rid of it but uh, I'm happy with that I think you can see how shiny it is let me see if I can show you with that yeah look it's shiny around the edges it's sh definitely shiny on the spout uh, and it's shiny inside the crucible um, it's quite hot at the minute um, so there you go I'm uh, more than happy with that ready to go for the gold okay thanks for watching see you next time Thank you.